The Tyrant's Tomb, the fourth installment in Rick Riordan's The Trials of Apollo series, continues the adventures of the former god Apollo, now a mortal teenager named Lester Papadopoulos, as he seeks to regain his godly powers by restoring the five ancient oracles and thwarting the plans of the evil Triumvirate Holdings, a group of three resurrected Roman emperors. As the story begins, Apollo and his companion Meg McCaffrey, a daughter of Demeter, are mourning the loss of a friend, Jason Grace, who was killed in the previous book. They travel to Camp Jupiter, the Roman demigod training camp in the San Francisco Bay Area, carrying Jason's body for a proper funeral. Along the way, they encounter Lavinia Asimov, a Roman demigod and daughter of Terpsichore, who helps them reach the camp while being pursued by enemy forces. Upon arrival, Apollo and Meg discover that Camp Jupiter is on high alert. The camp, led by Praetor Reina Avila Ramirez Arellano, is preparing for an imminent attack by the Emperor Caligula, one of the members of the Triumvirate. Caligula, along with Commodus, another Triumvirate member, and their forces, plan to destroy the camp and seize an ancient prophetic source known as the Sibylline Books. The camp's augur, a harpy named Ella, has been reciting passages from the Sibylline Books that foretell the attack and the only possible way to defeat the emperors. One prophecy specifically mentions a tomb of the tyrant, where the climactic battle will take place. To help the campers against the looming threat, Apollo and Meg train with them, forging alliances and strengthening their own abilities. In the meantime, Frank Jang, another praetor of Camp Jupiter and a son of Mars, wrestles with the knowledge that his life is tied to a piece of tinder by the fates, which when burned will result in his death. Frank is also grappling with his own feelings of inadequacy as a leader and his destiny in the upcoming battle. As preparations continue, Apollo undertakes several dangerous missions to help fortify the camp. These missions include a quest with Frank and Meg to find the Soundless God, a seemingly senile and elderly incarnation of the god Terminus, who helps them secure the godly boundaries of Camp Jupiter, and a journey to the tomb of Tarquin, an ancient Roman tyrant whose restless spirit allies with Caligula. In Tarquin's tomb, Apollo confronts the undead king, and acquires vital information about Caligula's plans, including the existence of a monstrous creature Caligula intends to unleash on the camp. Apollo also faces personal challenges as he adjusts to his mortal form and limitations, learning humility and empathy while struggling with his guilt over past mistakes as a god. His character grows substantially through the trials he faces, reflecting on the meaning of heroism and leadership. He also forms a deeper bond with Meg, and the two support each other through their respective emotional struggles. As the battle draws closer, the demigods of Camp Jupiter, including veterans of the Fifth Cohort, train rigorously and prepare their defenses. Apollo helps devise strategies and inspires the troops, connecting with them by acknowledging his former pride as a god and expressing genuine care for their well-being. The Roman Eagle Standard, a key to victory according to the Sibylline books, becomes a focal point. In a pivotal moment, Frank makes the ultimate sacrifice, igniting his life-tied piece of tinder to summon the ancient power of the eagle and decimate the enemy troops, which include ghastly zombies called Strigia and other monsters. However, instead of dying as expected, Frank miraculously survives, as Apollo reasons that the fates have voided their claim on Frank's life due to his bravery. The demigods engage the enemy forces in a climactic battle on the fields outside of Camp Jupiter. Reina faces off against the warrior queen of the Amazons who has been enthralled by Caligula, while Apollo and Meg confront Caligula himself. Together with the aid of the undead god-emperor Commodus, who unexpectedly turns against Caligula after a conversation with Apollo, they ultimately manage to defeat the tyrant emperor. Reina prevails in her combat as well by convincing the Amazon Queen to switch her allegiance back to the camp's side. Amidst the aftermath of the battle, Apollo receives a message from the goddess Thalia that the final member of the triumvirate, Nero, is planning to attack the Oracle of Delphi in Greece. Realizing that their next challenge awaits, Apollo and Meg prepare to leave Camp Jupiter. Reina, who has been questioning her role in the camp, decides to join the hunters of Artemis, 
a band of immortal maidens, after a conversation with Apollo, reassures her that serving as a praetor is not the only form of leadership or path to fulfillment. The tyrant's tomb concludes with the camp celebrating its hard-fought victory. Apollo has grown as a character throughout the book, developing genuine relationships with the demigods and understanding the true nature of sacrifice and heroism. Frank and Reyna have also discovered new dimensions of themselves, with Frank overcoming the prophecy of his death and Reyna finding a new purpose. As Apollo and Meg set out to face Nero and the challenges that await them in the final book, they carry with them the lessons learned and the friendships forged during their time at Camp Jupiter. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.